All right, let's simplify these radicals. I first need to factor 50. I need two numbers that multiply to 50. So I'm looking for the number 50 here. It's right here, right? 5 times 10 is 50. 5 is prime. And I'm looking to factor 10. 10 is 5 times 2. So I end up with, I'm going to put my doubles first, 5 times 5 times 2. My doubles go in their own house, and my single stays in its own house. This becomes the number 5, because this is 5 squared and the square root. If I square a number and square root it, that undoes it. That they undo each other, and I end up with just the number 5. So this is 5 times the square root of 2. Now I'm going to factor 72. If I look for 72 here, I find it here. That's 8 times 9. I know that 9 is 3 times 3. 3 is prime. 8 is 4 times 2. Careful, 2 is prime, but 4 is not prime. Okay, now, when I write these out, I have three twos, okay, be careful, don't miss any, and two threes. So I have a double, a double, and a single. I have a double two, a double three, and a single two. This becomes a two, this becomes a three, and this is root two. Two times three is six root two. Here, I'm gonna start with a number. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 18. I could use 6 times 3. I could also use 9 times 2. Doesn't matter. Let's say I choose 6 and 3. Then I have 3 times 3 times 2 times. This is 1a, right? There's no exponent on it. That's just 1a being multiplied. That 3 belongs to the b. So that's 3b's and 2c's. Where are my doubles? They're here, here, and here. And where are my singles? One, two, three things are single. So I have a double three, a double B, and a double C. And then in my single house, I have a two, an A, and a B. This becomes three, this becomes B, this becomes C. And on the inside, I have two AB. Over here. I see 49, I think, oh, 49. Oh yeah, seven times seven is 49. And turns out seven is prime, so I'm done there. So seven times seven, I have four X's. I have one Y and three Z's. Please be careful with Z's, they look like twos, so just don't get mixed up. Okay, I have a double seven, I have two double X's, a single Y, a double Z, and a single Z. So I'm gonna make houses for all my doubles. Are you past the point where you need to write this out? I don't know. Are you? If you are, okay. But if you're not, then write it all out. Okay, there's a single Y and a single Z. This becomes seven. Now look, this becomes X and this becomes X. That's X squared, X times X. Then there's a Z and a square root of Y, Z. Okay, see how I put the little line on the Z? I don't normally do that, but when I'm doing it in math, I do because it looks like a two otherwise.